have been asked to do a color review on Nutmeg on Main Attraction. This is Broadway. And it's kind of hard for me to describe maybe because I'm not real good with descriptive words or I don't use a lot of descriptive words, but it has a lot of different colors in it. So it's hard for me to just say, hey, it's a blonde or hey, it's auburn. It does have an auburn overall base, if you will, but there is a lot of dark color in here. This is definitely very dark here. I'm in my window <laughs> trying to give you the best representation of the color. When I did my right out of the box review on my back porch, it was brand new and super shiny and not a good representation of the color that it has become. It's almost ombre to me. It's, it becomes like, it becomes lightly tipped on these ends. But this is very dark as opposed to this, and this is very light. It is not rooted. And I'm okay with that. I have usually gotten myself to the point now where I won't buy it if it doesn't have a root because I just don't care for the way it looks on me and I don't think it is as believable. I have a main attraction piece here in apricot, which is very auburn based. More so I think than this. And what I wanted was to wear this alternating between the two so it would seem as if I got up and blew my hair out, but it doesn't have a root. So what I have to do is, in that case, is use something like this and make my own, which I'm okay with making my own. And it washes out. So compared to something that's redder, it's easier to see the base of it. I came out of 12 FS8, cult classic John Renault blonde with a great root. And next to this, You can see it has a bit of a more redder undertone, but these blondes are, are about the same. If you have a 12 FSA to kind of compare it to. And I would say that this root is about the same. But the overall is more on the apricot side, if that makes sense. So I hope this helps, Wendelina. This one's for you. You won't go wrong with the Broadway. If you're looking at this style, this, this style is the style. It is the one. You can't mess it up. You, you just can't mess it up. I have two sisters who also have Broadway and all three of us have different face shapes, facial features, and all three of us. I, I wish I was close enough to them so you could see it on all three of us. Incredible. Incredible. Um, my youngest sister has a uh, wig review channel that I encourage you to check out. It's Glam Life Wigs, and it's Kristen. She, she's got that addiction, been bit by the by the wig bug, 
and she's got a lot of different styles that she can show you on her channel with a lot of different colors uh, profiles as well. Um, she's also got this Broadway rig in uh, Nutmeg and she has it in Praline. So you can see my reviews on my channel of this and the same ones on her channel. Um, two sisters, two different looks, uh, same great hair. So again, that one's Glam Life Wigs and she does uh, makeup tutorials too. Um, she reviews all the bougie stuff. She's, I'm, I'm more of the drugstore girl, <laughs> the drugstore makeup, but she does um, the bougie stuff. And that one's called Full Face and Fabulous, Kristen. So I hope this helps. And if you like this and want more of this kind of wig review in my bedroom window, just let me know. Be sure you click like and subscribe.